But right now, Chief Morvey is not doing what he is supposed to do in terms of distribution of the resources that are there. The police officers, are, if you're going to have police, then have them in the right place at the right time under the right circumstances. For instance, there have been fights in the building. Kids ha do fight. They fight in, out in Boardman. They fight out in, in Austintown. However, if you are going to have that, then you bring in the experts who know how to provide security and you put them in the right place. You do not have four or five police officers standing near the door having coffee during the course of the day when you've got a building that, that large. You strategically put them at points of the building where they can see a whole hallway and you put them in four hallways. It's out of the hands of the four people who have refused to listen to those people in the building who have talked about this ad nausea. Mm -hmm. I have a five page document uh, on my desk at eight font mm -hmm. with concerns from the staff. Eight font, five pages. That's a lot of concerns. All of those things deal with children who are frustrated and are behaving badly because they're frustrated because they can't read a grade level because they don't have the books they need. They don't, all the technology is bad. Um, I mean, just, just the list goes on. Well, if you are in the 10th grade or the 11th grade and you're reading at the fourth or fifth grade level, if you're in a school that has 32% students with disabilities versus Youngstown Early College, which has zero, Cheney, which has 10%, and you, and you can't get the support that you need, which is why we got involved with the state. The state is now here investigating and has been for the most part of last week. They're meeting with, they met with parents this morning. Mm -hmm. They met with parents last night because the services are not being delivered. You, you have a regular education teacher that has 50% students with disabilities in her classroom with no help. I mean, what do you think is going on in that building? at $16,381 per student, that's, that's private school stuff. It costs more to graduate from Youngstown East than it does to graduate from Youngstown State University with a bachelor's degree. So when they say parents don't want to get involved, no, they don't want to bake cookies. They want to get involved in what's focused because that's what we work on. We give them one sheet of paper, Supreme Court statement about the importance of education. That's the first sheet of paper we give them. The second sheet of paper we give them is Title I approved by Congress as to what's supposed to be happening with Title I schools. On academic achievement, focus like a laser. That's not what the four school board members, Kimball, her son, Shad, Murphy, and Williams, and the superintendent, they're not focused on that in that school. They need to address the issues of the teachers. They need to address the issues of the students. They need to address the issues of the parents. They need to address it at and in that school. So if you address those issues, then 90% of the problems go away because 10% of the problem, you're always going to have kids who are going to act up. And those kids and those parents of those kids have to be taken aside and asked the simple question. Would you like to go to school in this building? Yes or no? If you do, these are the standards. Obey the standards, otherwise you can homeschool. Because homeschooling does go on. Mm -hmm. And it does allow you to have an education. It's just that you can't have that kind of education that you want inside this building. Now, I don't know about you, but that's not rocket scientists. But for those four people on that board, mm -hmm. Kimball, her son, Ronald Shad, Murphy, and Williams, they haven't got to that point. And they do not spend any time amongst themselves at their meetings mm -hmm. talking about how to resolve educational issues. Now, we monitor 222 of their meetings mm -hmm. before this crisis. And in less than 20 of those meetings, did they discuss reading, language, math, science, and the pedagogy related to academics. Less than 20.